بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم ایم ورکنگ از ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان دس ویڈیو ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دا اے کے ایچ ایچ کیو ٹو دس از دا ویری پاورفل ٹول ٹول گائز فرام دس ٹول یو کین یوز لائک دا ویو ان سائڈ یور اپاچی کا آپ کا کلسٹر اینڈ مینیج اٹ رائٹ گائز سو واٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سیٹ اپ دا ڈیفالٹ انسٹالیشن ود ڈیفالٹ انسٹالیشن یو ڈونٹ گیٹ اینی authentication right of this ui which means uh, this is going to be the administrator which is going to create or delete any topics but we won't uh, i mean we don't want that and later on we are going to set up the secure way like the, we are going to use the user and groups uh, we are going to use the admin and read a reader group right so um, you can say that it's pretty much the production ready setup for your kubernetes kafka cluster right so let's begin So guys, uh, if you remember, in my past uh, videos, um, I've already set up the bitnaming Kafka cluster and I've shown you how to set it up, guys. So uh, we are not going to waste that uh, time regarding the setup of, uh, you know, our Kafka cluster with persistence, right? Anyway, now we are going to set it up. Uh, what I've done, guys, uh, I've already updated that particular repo. and if i scroll it down what you need to do you need to simply clone this repo simply click this guy and use this https to clone this particular repo here we have this uh, yaml files and what i'm going to do i'm going to do scroll till the bottom so here i mentioned um, i mean i've already shown you how to set up your fine cluster your eks cluster right and we are going to use this best solution AKHQ, right? So let's do that. And what you need to do, scroll it down uh, till this AK secure values.yml. But we are going to use this unsecure, the default setup. So guys, uh, if you clone this particular repo, you will find this file, uh, this file is going to be already available, right? And you see um, AKHQ values.yml, this one is already available. And uh, let me open this guy. So, so uh, these are the default values, guys. And later on, I'm going to show you and the one which we have already discussed regarding the security. So let's do that. What we need to do regarding the setup, simply scroll it down and download this particular repo. Let's clone this repo. And I'm going to clone it in my, uh, in the same directory where I'm living, um, which is the one, right? And which we have cloned. You can clone it anywhere just for the sake of demo. I'm going to clone this particular repo. This is the public repo, AKHQ. And we are going to do, uh, after cloning, we are going to do some changes. Let it first clone it. And once cloned, um, guys, I've te uh, tested the 0.23.0 version and it works perfectly. So what I'm going to do. So the latest is uh, at the time of recording. So if I scroll it down, this one we have downloaded. Scroll it, uh, scroll it to Helm chart and in the chart section, you see this is the latest. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply update this to 23. So regarding the tags, you can see the Docker Hub AKHQ, you will see in these particular tabs. So we have updated this guy and we are what we are going to do simply, uh, I mean, copy this particular command. We are going to install this Kafka AHQ um, Helm uh installation in our uh, namespace kafka right so simply what you need to do um, you need to simply copy paste this particular command when what it does it is going to install this uh, web ui for us so let it install guys and uh, let me show you this the default stuff so if i navigate to my port section shortly you will see one port is going to be available and you see this is the port and if i navigate to the releases in the Kafka namespace, I have another release and it is going to be shortly available. And this is the application version, guys, which we are interested in. And this is the tested version. That's why I do recommend uh, to use this version. So once the pod is available, guys, we are going to do the port forwarding. Either you can do the port forwarding to this pod. Definitely, you can later on set up your internal ingress to access this. And uh, you can also navigate to this uh, uh section regarding the i mean networking services and I'm, I'm going to do the port forwarding so you will see two ports right uh this one two ports 80 and 
28081 management i'm going to do port forwarding to port 80 and i'm i'm going to do the random port uh, forwarding to this guy right so let me do that and you see uh, once uh, i mean a ui is available you will see that by default uh, if we don't set up any authentication um, i mean we are able to log in and we are logged in as administrator let's create one topic right i'm going to create one topic and the name of the topic let's say our same right and let's change the default let's say i'm going to uh, I, I want three uh, partition three application factor and you can set up the retention anyway let's create it and this topic is going to be um, i mean shortly created and it is doing the creation of this particular topic right so guys you see this topic has been created and uh, if you want to see inside the topic what do you need to do i mean click this guy you will see the stuff offset headers and all the stuff i mean currently if you don't have any data you can see the configuration consumer logs and all that stuff you can see regarding that um, i mean this is a very powerful tool guys and if you are if you are learning a uh, kafka these tools really uh, help you and even uh, we are setting up the production level anyway guys what we are going to do now we are going to set up the more secure way to manage our Kafka cluster. So in this particular repo, as I discussed, we have two, um, I mean, uh, values file. So if you are using like authentication with um, SSL in your uh, Kafka cluster, what you can do, you can use this um, configuration regarding the SSL, but we are not going to do that. Anyway, what we are going to do, we are going to secure our web UI management. And for that, we have akh-secure values.yml, right? So in this, uh, we, uh, we are going to use two groups. So guys, uh, these two groups are going to be available by default, the admin group and, and the reader group. So in this, we are setting up default group to no values, which means once our um, AKH pod is available, uh, it will not allow us to do any changes. So let me do that. And once, uh, so these are um, the roles which we have given uh, given to our admin and to reader, right? You can definitely change that. And guys, uh, this is the basic auth. So this auth uh, should be SHA two five six. The actual password. Uh, it is actually encoding, not encryption. Anyway, this is the for admin. Uh, admin. This is the password new SHA two five six SHA for admin, and this is for reader, right? Uh, this is the basic setting guys and everything remains the same right so what i'm going to do um, i'm going to simply use the same particular command and i'm going to simply um, use the secure values or yaml so let me do that so i'm going to uh, remove this part and and i'm going to say secure values .yaml. okay let's try to update the same chart right so by updating our helm uh, is going to be updated and i'm going to get rid of this um, value uh, sorry port forwarding so if i scroll it down i'm going to do remove uh, this port forwarding and if i scroll it down releases it is going to update the release and it is in pending state and once it is available and what it does it is going to remove the old pod right and it is going to bring the new guy you see the old one is terminating a new one is available so what happened if we do again port forwarding to um to port forwarding so if i navigate to uh, the network services and uh, let me do this again i'm going to do the port forwarding port forwarding to the random port let's do that now this is uh pretty much need to uh, i mean production setup that's what you want. So uh, the pod is going to be shortly available. So we have to wait for a while because the new pod is spin up and it is actually sending traffic to the PS1 as well. So let me just get rid of this one and wait for a while. Okay, uh, stop the port forwarding. Let's see the pod is uh, gone or not. It's still in, still in terminating state. So it is now terminated and now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to navigate to the port forwarding, uh, start it and click this guy, right? 
so it is going to open browser and it will do the port forwarding but you see once the port forwarding is done and you will see different uh, stuff is going to be available now it is actually asking for the username and the password let's bring the username i'm going to give a random let's say give the username admin let's try to authenticate with it you see it says invalid username why because the actual username is this one let me scroll it down and this is this is where we are using this uh, secure values.yml and this is the actual username so guys i paste it and let's try to log in with this name right so this is the sha guys this is encoding the username is admin let's try to use it i mean use the actual username and password All right let's do that and let's try to log in now you see we are successfully able to log in and we are able to log in as an admin user you see now we have this guy available i can delete this guy and delete this uh, I mean topic as well so anyway this is the admin let's try to log in with the reader and what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the password uh, for the reader and if i scroll it down um, i mean copy this guy and navigate back to the reader and type reader so guys uh, this is where you want to i mean give this stuff to your I mean, dev team wants to see what is going on with your unit cluster. Now you see, this is the read only group and this is the reader group. So it will not able to delete anything from here. And this is very secure and powerful. Uh, you can, they can see everything, logs and all the stuff they want to see the broker Kafka, but in the read only state. So guys, um, this is very powerful tool. Uh, I do recommend to use this guy. And in past, I've also shown you Kafka. Uh, let's try to also set up that as well. So uh, what I'm going to do if I navigate to, if I scroll it up regarding the Kafka setup, so scroll it up. Uh, we we do have the values.yml. So Kafka is also web uh management web UI tool so what i'm going to do i'm going to scroll it down and i'm going to let me do control l here i'm going to clone this guy I'll simply copy this particular command sorry and copy was incorrect and let's do it again plus it is also going to uh, i mean download this cab drop ui management and uh, this is the cab drop values.yml and uh, you don't have to do anything because uh, regarding that particular internal endpoint i've given that so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply copy this particular command right and it is going to in the same access the headless service uh, right so if it is cloned and let it trust uh, let it uh, install so uh we are going to install uh gap drop and uh, okay, namespace, we're going to use the same one. And if I uh, let me get back to the section, the, um, in the port section, right? One port uh, regarding the cab drop is going to be available. So you see cab drop is now available. But uh, as far uh, as my um, R&D cab drop uh, is not that powerful as the AKHQ, so um we are actually looking to use both um, testing uh, both so let it install i mean this is set up and if i navigate to uh, the religious section you see that have we have both uh cap drop and akq right so if i navigate to uh, this section so okay network services and now we have this cap drop available so i'm going to do the port forwarding port forwarding to any random port so let it start and we are going to see this stuff you see uh, this topic which we have created is available and this has the configuration so guys uh, this uh, is also a very good tool, but not as good as, uh, I mean, um, that APSQ. 
so anyway uh, if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel and have a nice day thank you